Whatever happened to SpongeBob? Oh my god, this episode from SpongeBob SquarePants sucks. I will tell you the reasons why this episode sucks in my opinion. The episode starts when SpongeBob wakes up on a normal day, as usual. He looks out his window and sees the mailman riding by on his bike. He says hi to the mailman. This greeting causes the mailman to get distracted, and a truck crashes into him. After that, SpongeBob wants to spend time with his friends, however, he ends up upsetting them, he accidentally breaks Scary's shell, crushes Patrick's cake for his mother's birthday, disturbs Squidward's beauty sleep, destroys Sandy's new robot, and deep fries Mr. Krabs' money, and himself. After everyone told him to go away and called him Idiot Boy, a devastated SpongeBob, who believes that all his friends hate him, decides to leave Bikini Bottom. At night, SpongeBob is scared by mysterious figures in the shadows. While he runs from the creatures, SpongeBob falls off a cliff and bumps his head. After noticing a lump on his head, SpongeBob gets knocked unconscious by his bundle. Back in Bikini Bottom, Patrick is knocking on SpongeBob's door, wanting to bore his hot sauce for his milkshake. He is approached by Sandy, who is wondering where SpongeBob is, having presumably come to apologize. Hearing that Patrick has no clue where SpongeBob is and had no time to wait for him to answer the door, Sandy decided to karate their way into the pineapple home. After entering the house, the two find Gary huge and overweight. Being asked what happened to him, Gary sadly shows Sandy and Patrick his food bowl with a note from SpongeBob inside, explaining that he has run away since he has caused everyone but trouble and that he wouldn't bother anyone ever again which makes both of them feel saddened. Meanwhile, SpongeBob regains consciousness then notices a fish couple, who thought he was taking a dirt nap, as they try to steal his possessions but pretend to say that they were organizing them. Hearing one of the fish call him by name, SpongeBob becomes confused and unsure. After being asked if he doesn't know his own name, SpongeBob explains to the fish couple that all he knows is that he hit his head but now he can't seem to remember anything. After realizing he has amnesia, the fish couple decides to take advantage of SpongeBob's memory loss so they can steal his possessions by telling him that the items weren't his and give him a new name, Cheesehead Brown Pants. However, SpongeBob felt something in his pockets then reaches inside them to find a bottle of bubble soap, which causes the couple to run off for some reason. After the couple left, SpongeBob wonder what got into them then notices a city nearby. At Bikini Bottom, everything is in chaos, especially the Krusty Krab because Spongebob is not there to give Krabby Patties. Mr. Krabs asks Squidward where Spongebob is as he is freaking out that there is no Krabby Patties being made then they both get into an argument, after Squidward insulted Mr. Krabs. However, after hearing Sandy and Patrick arriving, Mr. Krabs and Squidward were asked by them if they seen Spongebob. Hearing that none of them have not seen him, Sandy shows the note SpongeBob left while informing Mr. Krabs and Squidward that he has left town, due to causing trouble and that he is not coming back. Mr. Krabs takes the note SpongeBob left from Sandy then reads it. After reading the note, Mr. Krabs sees that SpongeBob did write it then not only panics because the latter is gone but also feels guilty for pushing him away. Feeling guilt written for pushing SpongeBob away as well, Patrick and Sandy break down crying with the obvious exception of Squidward, who is delighted and remorselessly laughs in joy. Deciding to do a group meeting with just himself, Patrick, Sandy, and Squidward, Mr. Krabs kicks everyone out of the Krusty Krab then tells everyone that the restaurant is close until the group can find SpongeBob and bring him back to Bikini Bottom. Meanwhile, SpongeBob wanders into New Kelp City, name of the city he saw nearby before, where he attempts to get a job. Each time he gets a job, SpongeBob uses his bubble blowing ability to help him, though, like the couple he encountered, this strikes fear into all the residents of the city, all resulting in him being fired. Back in Bikini Bottom, Sandy shows her friends her new invention that can track SpongeBob the Sponge Tracker. But Squidward, not wanting SpongeBob to come back, purposefully destroys the device with a hammer, claiming he dropped it. Furious and not buying his blatant lie, Mr. Krabs scolds Squidward for his action then orders him to find SpongeBob, 
but he still refuses to help, even being unfazed when his boss threatens to fire him. Desperate to not only get his station working again but also wants his friend back just as much as Patrick and Sandy do, Mr. Krabs comes up with the perfect method to get Squidward to cooperate with the search for SpongeBob. He offers him a jeweled Fabergé egg as a retirement gift, which the latter notes will complete his collection. However, Mr. Krabs tells Squidward that if he wants it, he'll have to bring SpongeBob back to Bikini Bottom. This offer finally convinces Squidward, who chooses his love of art over his hatred of SpongeBob, to help with the search party. In New Kelp City, SpongeBob bubble blowing activities attracts the attention of the bubble popping boys, a menacing street gang who have scared the city into never blowing bubbles ever again since the bubbles burn their eyes. They decide to show him what they do to rule breakers by beating up a scared SpongeBob, who quickly runs off as the gang chases him until he is cornered. SpongeBob then uses his bubble blowing ability to trap them in a large bubble and it sends them out the city, which frees the town of their reign. As a result, SpongeBob is rewarded the position of mayor of New Kelp City by its previous owner, who immediately retired. While searching for SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, and Squidward stopped at a gas station. The trio is shocked to see a newspaper stand showing news of SpongeBob's position as mayor of New Kelp City. With this information, they go to New Kelp City to retrieve SpongeBob just as he is giving a speech. After SpongeBob gave his speech, Sandy uses a blowhorn to get his attention as she tells the surrounding citizen and her friend that she doesn't mean to put a damper on the mood there but Bikini Bottom needs him back. However, due to his amnesia, SpongeBob doesn't know who Sandy is or the town she is talking about. Sandy goes up on stage then apologizes for lashing out at him before. Seeing Sandy more closely, SpongeBob became surprised to see her. At first, Sandy thought her friend was surprised that she found him but became shocked that he doesn't recognize her when he mistook her for a weasel, which he was surprised about. At first, Sandy thinks that SpongeBob was pretending that he doesn't remember her. Hearing this, SpongeBob apologizes to Sandy for not remembering her and commented that he probably would, although he still thought she was weasel. Patrick comes up on stage as he hopes that SpongeBob hasn't forgotten about him then shows him a half of a friendship tattoo he has while he has the other half. However, seeing the tattoo, SpongeBob gets confused as to how he got that then explains to the two that all he remembers is hitting his head, blowing some bubbles and now poof, he's mayor. After hearing SpongeBob's explanation and realizing as to why he called himself Cheesehead Brown Pants during his speech, Sandy was convinced that her friend was telling the truth about not knowing who they are and theorizes that he lost his memory when he hit his head. Wanting to bring her friend home and help him, Sandy asks SpongeBob to come back with them to Bikini Bottom as she explains to him that the familiar surroundings of the town will bring his memory right back. However, SpongeBob refuses because everyone in New Kelp City needs his leadership. When SpongeBob gets into a limo to attend a meeting that he's later for, Sandy tried to stop him from leaving but became surprised when the limo came back around and was shocked to see that Squidward managed to hijack the vehicle. Sandy and Patrick got into the limo then Squidward drives everyone with SpongeBob back to Bikini Bottom. They take SpongeBob back to the Krusty Krab but he still couldn't recall anything. At first, Mr. Krabs thought he was joking about not remembering the eatery then gave him his spatula but realized that he's not when he became surprised that he was a fry cook before. Mr. Krabs told SpongeBob that he's the best in his business then asked him to get flipping. However, not entirely convinced of everyone claims as to who and what he is, SpongeBob nicely told them that he would like to but he wants to return to New Kelp City and run as mayor, claiming as a modest job. Squidward who doesn't care if SpongeBob stays or not, demands the Fabergé egg from Mr. Krabs since he brought him back, on a technicality. Mr. Krabs sadly agrees and reluctantly hands Squidward the jeweled egg. As Squidward marvels on his new jeweled egg being so beautiful, he slips on the greasy spatula that SpongeBob put on the floor, causing the egg to fly out of his hands. The egg shatter as it hits SpongeBob on the head, much to Squidward's distress, and the impact gave him another lump. After getting a hold himself, SpongeBob tells a concerned Sandy that he was fine but he just had a little headache. 
However, SpongeBob realizes that his memory was returning when he recognizes the eatery. Overjoyed that their friend got his memory back, Mr. Krabs told SpongeBob how really sorry they all are for running him out of town but they're glad he's back. But even so and wanted to stay in Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob knows that New Kelp City need their mayor. Everyone is distraught that SpongeBob would leave again, except Squidward who is delighted at this as he felt that it would make up for the loss of his Fabergé egg. At that moment, a news report comes on the TV saying that the bubbles in New Kelp City are causing mayhem, that can't see with all the bubbles. A thug then threatens SpongeBob if he ever came back to New Kelp City. Upon hearing this, SpongeBob has second thoughts about going back to New Kelp City and decides to remain in Bikini Bottom. Before the episode ends, a dismayed Squidward opens his head and throws his brain in a trash can. Wow. Just fucking wow. That was one of the worst episodes of SpongeBob Square Repents. If you haven't seen it, don't watch it, it's a waste of time. I hope this episode gets banned from every Nickelodeon channels in worldwide. I don't know who likes or hates this episode. So I'm gonna leave it be. And that's all I would like to say. So, screw whatever happened to SpongeBob. And screw down Hardy Duckling. Note, if you like this Tom and Jerry cartoon. I respect your opinion. Anyways, Teen Titans Go Getting Cancelled is 677,467,466,656,556 times better whatever happened to SpongeBob. End of rant.